Um, so this is a great facility used for mobility test bed uh, for operating on the moon, but also on Mars, and we'll get to that in a minute. So you can see it's kind of got a double meaning in that the back bin is actually sloped. So you can test driving up different slopes here, and that's an adjustable bin uh, from zero to 45 degrees. Um, that angle right now is actually 25 degrees right around there. So it doesn't look like, uh, it looks like a lot, um, but you can see how hard it is just to go up that kind of angle. The soil in this BIM was designed to uh, basically simulate uh, tire behavior uh, that was seen with the Apollo missions. So this is, uh, if you run a tire in here, it should behave just like it would uh, from those Apollo missions. Um, the bin over here is a high sinkage bin. This is meant to mimic the um, soils on Mars where Spirit and Opportunity got stuck. Uh, this is kind of a worst case scenario to try to get out of. Um, and if you want to come up afterwards, the, it, a great little demo you can do is take the, the tire rod and push it into this soil. It's very hard to go in. And if I take it over here, it sinks very easily. Um, so you can just imagine trying to walk on that, let alone driving a tire on that. Um, so Santo here is involved with uh, some of the tire technologies and using the different materials. So I'll pass them over. To, to you in a minute, I'm gonna take my turn first. Do it. So yeah, so, um, so I, I work on ISRU, which is in situ resource utilization. So basically what this is, is using the resources that are available at these exploration locations to live off the land. So you don't have to take all your propellant with you, you can make it while you're there. So we're studying uh, the different technologies here at NASA Glenn, as well as NASA Kennedy, Johnson, and JPL for how to use these technologies and how to um, extract the resources and use them. These are system problems which start from excavation, how to dig into the soil, scoop it out, access those resources, how to then separate those resources out, clean them up, potentially electrolyze them and use them. So this is a big system process. So we pull in everybody, um, including life support systems. We use some of their technology. Uh, we use the excavation system. So a lot of uh, multidisciplinary stuff that goes into ISRU. The guys in this group, um, a number of years ago, almost a decade ago, started looking at um, compliant wheel technologies that we can use in space. And unfortunately, we can't use pneumatic wheel technologies in space because of a number of reasons. One, space is a vacuum, so pressurizing something doesn't really work well. Um, so there are different things that we study in here in terms of soil penetration um, versus, you know, having the soil get out as we're driving the mobility. And we study all of that to understand what type of opacity or density we need in the mesh to produce traction but not have clogging and all these other types of factors depending on what soil we're in.